So a few months ago, I recorded a video about how to make a Prezi video. Sounds a bit confusing, but essentially it was a Prezi video for beginners tutorial. You can see it here on YouTube, and you can also see it's had nearly 70,000 views in just a few months. So loads and loads of people have been benefiting from this video, but it's left a lot of people asking the question, how do I take it one step further? So lots of people who watch my tutorials, attend my webinars, things like that, will see me presenting with Prezi Video, but not using the standard templates inside the Prezi Video software. I prefer to use these bespoke designs that you can see above. So in this next tutorial, I wanna show you how to take it to the next level, how you can create Prezi videos that are completely bespoke, your own design, your own images, without using any of the standard Prezi video templates. So if you feel like you're ready for that step, let's get going. So here we are on the Prezi website. I use Prezi through the Google Chrome browser pretty much all of the time, uh, just because me and my team collaborate uh, with different Prezi designs and things like that. You can, of course, do everything that I'm going to tell you in the next five minutes or so uh, via the desktop application as well. So it's entirely up to you which way you do this. But step one to taking your Prezi videos to the next level and creating something really bespoke for yourself is actually to begin outside of the Prezi video software. Every single Prezi a uh, video that you see from me with a completely bespoke design has been started inside the Prezi Present software. So that's actually up here in the top left hand corner where we have all projects, Prezi video, Prezi design or Prezi Present. So if you are new to Prezi then you may not realize that the original platform, the original uh, Prezi platform was a presentation tool, which of course Prezi is still very firmly grounded in today, but I would recommend that you go and get some basic Prezi Present training. You need to under, understand some of the basics on how to create your own Prezi presentation, and then the idea is that you do that in the Prezi Present software, and you bring that in or you upload it to the Prezi video software once you're done. And that's exactly how I work. So let me show you an example. If I just go over to uh, a tab here that I've got open, this is a uh, Prezi that I built. So this is a Prezi present that I built for use as a Prezi video. Now I don't wanna turn this tutorial into a how to use the Prezi Present software tutorial because that could go on for quite some time. So I will drop some links in the comments below uh, to let you know where you can find more information. You can also get in touch with me directly if you would like Prezi training for you and your team. And then once you've got the basics under your belt, very, very easy to pull this through to Prezi. So let me show you my process. Now the first thing I should say as well is that I do plan all of my presentations on paper first. Um, I don't want to uh, bog you down or bore you with showing you how I do that with pen and paper. It's a very simple mind mapping technique. I plan out my content, plan out what I'm going to say, and that gives me a really good idea as to what visuals I need. So for this presentation, this was actually made for a, a piece of social media that I created about the different percentages of communication. So uh, tone of voice, the words that you use, spoken word, and of course, body language. Now, I didn't just open Prezi and start throwing this together. I planned it all out on paper first, and that's how I knew I needed an image of myself in this little pose here on the right-hand side. And I'm gonna zoom into the different sections that have the percentages on them. Now, I've built this as a standard Prezi, so if I just hit the present button up in the top right here, you'll see that I can actually click the right arrow on my keyboard to go through this, and you'll see everything appearing as it should. 
Now, of course, right now, I'm only in the Prezi Present software. I'm not in the Prezi Video software. But one thing you might notice is that just above me here, on the left-hand side of this Prezi design, there is a big blank space. And of course, yes, you guessed it, that's because I knew all along that I'd want to play this and run this inside the Prezi Video software. So I've built my Prezi Present just like I would any other presentation, lots of good planning, lots of good use of imagery, but I've always left this big space on the left-hand side because I knew that eventually I was going to be the one appearing in that space. And you'll see towards the end of the video exactly what I mean. Now, I said a second ago that I didn't want to turn this into a, a full-blown Prezi, how to use Prezi tutorial, but I want to point out the key things that you should learn for you to do this. Number one is definitely planning. Take that seriously. And I've mentioned that a few times now. The second thing that you need to think about and just be conscious of with Prezi is the two different types of structures that you can use. So up here in the top left hand corner, you can use a planet structure, which essentially gives you the option of zooming in and then zooming in again to subsections of content. Or you can just use a stack topic structure, which is a linear flowing piece of content. We zoom into it and then we move through that content almost in uh, a series of slides, very sort of slide by slide way of working. We call them pages inside Prezi instead of slides. That's the only difference. Now, one thing to mention about this design and most of the Prezi designs um, that I build for use in Prezi video are that if we zoom into one of the content sections here, I like to keep things really, really simple. So every single one of my topic covers, my content areas, every single one of them is actually a stacked area. So that layout that I mentioned earlier, a stack topic, that's what each of these circles are. They are a linear flowing piece of content. And if I just manually zoom into them, you can see just above me now, uh, on the left-hand side of this Prezi software, that I'm moving through this content in just a slide-by-slide -slide type way. So I'm making it very, very easy for myself to run through this without having to zoom in, zoom out all over the place. I don't want to make it too confusing for my audience, okay? The other thing that you'd need to be aware of if you are going to go and get yourself some Prezi training and really learn the basics of the present software is really about how do I bring in imagery and media? That's going to be absolutely crucial, of course. Now, the quick answer is you go to the insert menu at the top and in here you can insert images, PDFs, audio, video, whatever you need to do. But you do need to spend some time with that. And one of the areas I would really focus in on is this animation option, because that would enable you to zoom in even further when you move into one of your content areas. Okay, again, I'll put links below this video to help direct you to uh, tutorials on some of those different subjects. Now, once I've built my Prezi inside the Prezi Present software, I then, of course, go to my uh, desktop of my computer and I fire up my Prezi video software. So that's at the very bottom of my screen here. You can see I've got the Prezi Present software and the Prezi video software. And from here, what I do is I skip this purple button. I don't press create new video. What I actually do is I import from Prezi, and this is the key thing. So once you know how to make your own Prezi presentations, you can import them from the Prezi video software. So if I scroll down here, we'll see here is the Prezi that I was just looking at. I will import that now. You'll see that my camera will switch on, so you're seeing me twice here. But here is the same content. I would normally use a much better camera than just the webcam that it's uh, linking into at the moment, but you get the idea. So this is now the same Prezi that we were looking at in the present software, just being played through Prezi video. 
and you can see it looks absolutely fantastic of course I would say that it's my own design but it's a very very simple design if you know the basics of the Prezi video software and the Prezi present software so I hope you found that useful if it has still left you with lots more questions then please do get in touch with me or my team directly on info at thepresenter.com check out our website at thepresenter.com um, I will be glad to help you as much as I can and to help everyone increase the level of their audience engagement and of course the quality of their presentations so let me know if you found this useful in the comments below please like please subscribe and I'll catch you on the next video